Traditionally, accounting has been focused on fact-based, actual and historical reporting. What happened last week, last month or last year? And how does it compare to the previous period or same period of the last year? While this historical perspective provides the company with added value for understanding the current situation, it does not necessarily help to better predict and plan the future. In SAP Enterprise Central Component, the planning and forecasting function was technically separated from accounting by means of tables and transactions. In the company itself, there is often an organizational separation into different departments. The disadvantage of the separation were two different universes, finance and controlling, each with their own terminology, key figures, processes and reports. This often led to misunderstandings and misaligned goals. The integrated data model and SAP s hana can help to overcome these problems. The predictive accounting solution is now the single source of truth for accountants and controllers. Combined with traditional accounting, it enables them to see where they have been, where they are now and where they are going in the future with no extra effort for forecasting and planning. So how does it work? Here is our first business case. When a sales order is created, the system can predict that the ordered goods will be delivered and invoiced on the dates specified in the sales order items. The values expected from the invoice and delivery are account receivables, change in stock, revenue and cost of goods sold. They are stored as predicted values for the expected invoicing date. When a delivery and an invoice are posted for a sales order item, the predicted values become actual values. On the purchasing side, a purchase order or a purchase requisition is a basis for a prediction of future purchase expenses and a goods receipt and invoice receipt. With a goods receipt, the actual purchase expenses and GRIR are posted in the system. Both predicted and actual values are stored in one table, ACDOCA, in the Esfahana Universal Journal. However, they are assigned to different ledgers. Predicted values are assigned to the extension ledger. Actual values are assigned to the standard leading ledger and, if the parallel accounting ledger approach is used, to a non-leading ledger. Now, let's take a look at this process in the system. We start by creating a sales order with two items. One will be delivered this month and the other item the next month. Each item has a revenue of 6000 euro and an estimated COGM of approximately 3000 euro. When the sales order is saved, six documents for predictive accounting are created in the extension ledger. Three documents for period 8 and three for period 9. We check the documents for period 8 via the app Display Journal Entries in the TA Account View. One document with predicted revenue and receivables. Another one with a predicted change in stock and a final document with a split of the change in stock value and cost elements of COGM analogous to the sales order cost estimate. All predicted sales order values can be viewed in the reporting app Incoming Sales Orders. Anyone familiar with the cost base COPA knows that the functionality for incoming sales orders, predicted revenues and cost of sales order was already available in SAP ECC in the COPA environment. 
In SAP S4HANA, the function is made available in the finance environment in order to support a transition from cost-based COPA to the account-based COPA to integrate finance and controlling with the help of the Universal Journal. Here we see the predicted quantity, predicted revenue and COGS split by GL accounts. Characteristics from COPA and FI are available for analysis. The advantages of this app are a nice graphical interface and the flexible layout. However, this app has some limitations compared to the old functionality for incoming sales orders. It does not support, for example, cost of goods sold, which are not directly related to a delivery. Such costs are, for example, administrative and selling overhead costs. Another limitation are statistical sales conditions. Their values are not recognized as predictive sales deductions or costs until the invoice is posted. In the next step, we post a delivery for one item and look at the impact on the Universal Journal. In the extension ledger, the predicted change in stock and COGM for the item delivered is reversed. The actual change in stock and COGM was posted in the leading ledger. Now we post an invoice for the delivered item and see again the impact on the Universal Journal. In the extension ledger, the predicted revenue and receivables for the invoice item have been reversed. The actual revenue and receivables are posted in the leading ledger. The predicted values and actual values of sales orders can be compared with each other in the app Gross Margin. The predicted revenues and COGM for both items ordered are displayed alongside the actual values. This enables the predicted margin to be compared with the actual margin. All values are displayed on account level in the same way as in the account-based COPA. They can be analyzed by multiple dimensions and characteristics defined in COPA. It can therefore be concluded that the report is a mixture of the account-based and cost-based COPA. This was a sales site. How does prediction work on the purchasing site? We will purchase a material for a cost center and expect a commitment to be posted to the cost center. In S4HANA, commitments are predicted expenses that are stored in the Universal Journal in the extension ledger. The prerequisite for posting a commitment is an activation of commitment management for the controlling area and the assignment of purchase order items to a cost center or a WBS element. With saving the purchase order, 
a predictive accounting document is created. In the app Display Journal Entries, we see predicted GRIR as well as material expense for expected consumption to a cost center. In the app Commitments by Cost Centers, you can analyze all cost center commitments by fiscal periods, cost centers, cost elements, and drill down to the original documents, purchase orders or requisitions. The same predictive accounting function is available for project commitments. Now we post a goods receipt for one of two items that were ordered with the purchase order in the previous step. In the extension ledger, half of the predicted material purchase costs is reversed and posted as actual material cost in the leading ledger. The value on the GRIR account in the extension ledger is halved accordingly. In the Commitments by Cost Center app, we see 160 euro on the account 60,000 material consumption as an open commitment for the item ordered but not yet delivered and 160 euro for actual cost for the item delivered. Now take a look on the overall impact of predictive accounting. In the extension ledger in period 8, all predicted values for the sales order items delivered in August were reversed. Half of the commitments were reversed as one of two items was received to a cost center. In period 9, you see the predicted values, revenues and COGM related to the second sales order item which will be delivered in September. In the leading ledger in period 8, you see actual revenues and COGM that were posted from delivery and invoice of the first sales order item. It also shows actual material costs related with the purchase and GR to a cost center. In the app Balance Sheet Income Statement, you can compare the total predicted and actual values on the level of financial statement item and account number. For this, you need to select the extension ledger and leading ledger as comparison ledger and enter the relevant fiscal periods. In the column period balance, we see the predicted values from the extension ledger and in the column comparison balance, the actual values from the leading ledger. The values can be sliced and diced by dimensions, which you see on the left side of the screen. You can also drill down from here to the original accounting documents. Last but not least, there is an app which gives you an overview of where the errors affect the predicted values, the Monitor Predictive Accounting app. Here you will see how many sales order items are impacted by errors and the percentage of all sales orders with correct predicted values. From here, the affected documents can be reprocessed after the errors have been eliminated.